Okay, the next muscle is the trapezius, which is a large sort of, uh, sort of diamond-shaped muscle that uh, starts up at the base of the skull. It attaches to both the clavicle and the spine of the scapula, and then it, um, it inserts along the spine. So if we look at the skeleton, so it's, it's starting up here. It's coming down and it is attaching to the oops, it's attaching to the to the lateral third of the clavicle. So it's coming from behind there, coming forward, attaching to this part of the clavicle, and also the top of the acromion process and running down the spine of the scapula, and then it is um, originating along <clears throat> these vertebrae through here and ending at the 12th, which is down here. So the whole thing is ending at about where your rib cage ends. So you don't see the muscles obviously here. The bulk of the muscle on a, on someone who's um, like a bodybuilder or stuff, you'll see you'll see this portion. But with everybody, you see this portion up here, which is sort of the fuller portion, and that kind of fills out the shape of the neck and as you can see from the back it hides some of the sternocleidomastoid muscle sort of comes behind it. Uh, and this white area in here is just fascia so the muscle um, the muscle doesn't isn't in this area so it's sort of full here and then it goes flat and this this little thing here is it represents a, that seventh cervical vertebrae which you can feel is sort of the, the big bump on the back of your neck. And um, because the fascia sort of comes up between these two, um, a lot of times on someone who's a little bit more developed, you'll see this as like two separate rope-like structures sort of coming up and, and inserting into uh, the base of the skull. Okay, so from the side, sort of looks like this, again, sort of coming down, attaching to clavicle, and the acromion process running down the spine of the scapula and then sort of disappearing behind. And from the front, again, it's kind of filling out the rest of the neck. So here we have the sternocleidomastoid, the two portions, and then here's the, here's the trapezius coming out. Okay. Um, so the action is that, as you, can, as you can imagine, when these are contracted, because the, the joint that we're talking about here that is going to be operating is between the head and the rib cage to include the, um, the clavicle and the scapula. So it's a main mover of, of the scapula. So when these muscles contract, it, um, it helps sort of turn the scapula, sort of pulls it this way. These top fibers can lift it up, the middle fibers pull it medially like this way, and then the bottom fibers can, can pull it down. But the big action is sort of rotating, helping to rotate sort of the shoulder and the arm like this. Okay, and that's the, uh, that's the uh, trapezius.